is basically um, when you work with clay, the difference between clay and ceramics is that clay is the malleable um, material that you use. Um, and then after it goes through the kiln and it's uh, been fired up to a specific temperature, then that's when it turns into ceramics and becomes that hard, durable piece. And that could either be functional pieces or it could also be sculptural pieces. I really like ceramics because it's a really good way to be creative when you're balancing all of your other hard classes it kind of gives you an outlet to kind of express yourself. I think the big appeal with ceramics is that it's really different from anything that we do today. I think it's just something different where we can work with our hands and create something that hasn't existed before um, from just a lump of clay and creating something new and different and unique and it's very different from anything else that we do from our day-to-day -day lives. I really like doing huge hand building projects. That's I think the thing that I most enjoy, but I also love experimenting with glazes and so I really like throwing for that just because the glazes blend and flow better on a thrown piece. One thing that's really cool about ceramics is that uh, you can really change the way a piece of looks by the way that you finish it with glazing. Um, and the thing that's really been happening in the past few years is that people are really starting to getting into experimenting with their glazes and doing lots of different layers um, with some of the glazing. And that's what's really fun um, with the glazing because when you layer it, you don't really know what your, your outcome's gonna be. I really wanna be a surgeon and you have to be like really precise for that. And I think ceramics is really nice because you have to have really steady hands. And so it's just like reinforcing a lot of those skills and getting a head start. In ceramics, we learn lots of different skills. Um, you know, just with the physical aspect of it, you know, after you learn those basic clay rules of knowing how to make your piece so it doesn't blow up in the kiln, you know, after that, there's a lot of problem solving with, you know, figuring out how to get your piece to stay together and um, stay st structurally sound without it uh, coming apart. So you got to use a lot of engineering and, you know, think ideas through, um, you know, also considering the overall aesthetic and the way that your piece looks um, is really important. But um, that's the physical aspect of it, you know, but you also have to, you know, learn how to take risk. You know, sometimes people on the wheel, like when they're throwing, they don't want to keep going, you know, they kind of get a cup that's decent enough, but it's like you got to, you got to keep on pushing if you want to make it even better. Um, so just overall, just learning how to be really precise with your, your carvings, um, and being really meticulous and then also learning how to problem solve and taking risks and there's so many skills that you learn in ceramics.